G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 18 where I am back in the fists only challenge and at the moment I'm hunkering down in an empty POI that I just cleared at the end of yesterday's episode so I'm out here being nice and safe but I've also got a plan in mind, it is very early in the morning and just like a fisherman out to catch a big old snapper, I've risen early because I have a mission and that mission is to leave here nice and early in the morning so I've got plenty of time to head all the way down south, all the way to this uh, quest, all the way down here, uh, so I can get there just as the sun rises. I don't want to be taking on uh, that POI with all of the zombies being fast and scary, but I also don't want to waste all of my time riding my bicycle that far south and wasting all of my daylight, because today is the day that Trady Potato restocks his inventory, and when he restocks, he's going to give away my motorcycle that he's got there. I've already claimed it, it's going to be mine. I need 18,000 dollar reduce to get it, so he better have it when I get back there, or else I'm going to be pretty bloody upset. But, heading down south, doing that quest, and I've already done another quest as well, so by the time I do this one, turn in both of these and sell some gubbins, I should, hopefully, fingers crossed, have enough money to buy my new set of wheels. So that is my mission for today. That's why I'm up this early. That's why I'm out in the spooky dooky night time. There's a bunch of monsters out here, but that's okay. I can pedal away from them forever. My stamina means nothing. Oh no, I was just thinking to myself, I wonder how far the uh, the desert biome will last. And just as I thought that, sure enough, it changed to the wasteland. The worst possible biome that I could be in right now. Oh good, okay, so now I'm in a world full of dogs and bears and landmines. Now I've got the book that's supposed to be exploding on landmines, but that doesn't mean that someone coming close to me could step on that landmine nearby and I'd still get killed in the explosions. This is a bad, bad place for me to be. Quickly raid this car because my curiosity got the better of me. Ooh, lucky I did though. Six oils, that's worth a fair bit of coins. Still on the quest for money, always on the quest for dosh. Oh, just keep on going. Oh, a bridge. I don't think I've ever seen a bridge in Randomton before. Oh, oh, oh God, get up there, get up there, come on. Come on, Bunny Hop, you can do it. You can, <laughs> you can break the bridge, but I can still get up there. Oh, the quick desperation double tap of C got me up on the bridge. You can't stop me, I'm on a mission. Let's do it again. Hop, yes. Here is the town ominously f appearing into view through the fog. Oh, I'm, I'm not looking forward to this at all. I'm, my whole body tenses up when I come to the wasteland. It's just not good for me at all. It's not good for my health. It's not good for my butthole. It's not good for anything. Oh, and especially when you give me some shit loot like that out of a car. Oh, where's it going to be? What do you want me to raid? Raid Aldo's? Oh, repair, ooh, repair shop. There's probably some repair kits in there, which I kind of like. God, look how... It's like Silent Hill. This is basically Seven Days to Die, the Silent Hill version. This is spooky as balls. Oh, that's, oh, oh, there's a vulture. Oh God, I was like, I just heard the click saying that I was at my destination. All right, I need to get some stamina back. So you just need to pedal a little bit slowly. There's a vulture coming for us and I can't, oh, there it is there. Are you shitting absolute bricks right now, game? Not only do you send me to the wasteland, not only do you send some peppy pelican coming after me like this, you also send me to a freaking doggos. Oh, that's the worst possible combination. That is genuinely a butthole on a stick, for God's sake. Oh, that's dinky die bullshit right there. All right, well, I've got, I've got to do it though. I've got to do it. Just think of, just, oh, there's a pawn shop over there. Just think of the motorcycle, Josh. Just think of your future cruising around on your chopper. Oh my God, how am I going to do This is going to be the end of me. This is going to, how am I supposed to take on a doggos with fists only? Oh boy. Okay. Well, there's nothing really for it. Let's just make sure I am fueled and ready to go. Grab some steak, eat, uh, drink some yucca. Oh boy, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked! You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Before I raid Doggos, I'm gonna raid the pawn shop down here just in case, on the slim chance that I might get lucky enough to find maybe some steel knuckles or something in the pawn shop. I just gotta hope for something slightly better loot-wise so I have a little bit more firepower going into this. If I go in how I am now, I'm almost certain I'm going to see the, the big bright light coming towards the end of the tunnel and I am not looking forward to that day at all. 
Oh, I works on up inside of the wrong part of the village. That's all right. Hit the door. Can you guys come open the door for me, please? I've got my lock picks, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I do. Oh, there's a whole bunch of Jeffreys coming for me. All right, knackers, open the door for me. You get in there and bust your chops. Let me in. There's a bunny snag sizzle in there. And I want to join in. Oh, there's so many coming for me. There is just so many in there. Here we go. Power stroke off the bat. Come on, just knock them all down. Oh, I should have... You know what? This is what we're going to do. Drink the froth. This seems like a better time than any to drink an old sudsy. Ah, oh, hit you. Come on. Just start wailing through. Punches for days. Ham sandwiches for everyone. I'm feeding the hordes with my fists of glory. Oh, God. You can never underestimate the power of a froth. A nice cold beer on a, well, kind of murky day. Yeah, whatever day. It doesn't matter what day it is. If you're going to have a froth, it's always going to be good. Me and the boys just drinking frothies together. Let's not waste any more time than we really have to right now. Let's open up all these boxes and let's open up the gun safe. Please go first time. 20 seconds. Oh, it's just so long. I don't have the patience to sit still for 20 seconds. How am I supposed to sit through this gigantic period of time? I have the attention span of a mentally disabled goldfish. I see a shiny spoon. I want a shiny spoon. Please let me in. First time. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Oh, yes. I love it when that happens. I love it when I get in first shot. What have we got? Wooden bow. Scrap that for bow parts. Iron arrows. Scrap that. A little before sledgy. It's worth quite a bit of coin. And a stun baton worth a fair bit as well. Scrap the shit of stun baton. Take the shotgun shells. All right. What else we got in here? I am wearing the right goggles. Yes, I am. Another stun baton. A junk tote, which is worth quite a bit of coin. Leather and stuff. I'll scrap all of you because I don't need you. And the shotgun messiah. Some ammo. And shamway. A Vegemite sandwich. I'll throw that one away. Right, I didn't get the steel knuckles I was hoping for. In fact, there's some more loot in here that I might quickly go and do. I rarely go into the rest of a um of a pawn shop. It's really only the loot room I go for. But seeing as they already very generously opened the door, I've Ooh, shotgun turrets, come on, I'll take you. Uh, they already opened the door for me, so I may as well see what's in here. Because look, there's chests and things around. You might find something worthwhile if you just stick your beak in a little bit further. Oh, what are you? The last shot in the chamber does double damage. That's actually kind of helpful if I could use the guns. Destroyed battery bank. What have you got for me? Nothing. Anything up in here? Not really. Okay, so the front room of the pawn shop doesn't really have anything of use for me. <sighs> All right, I need to just nut up. I need to go and take on the doggos. I need to stop wasting time with this nonsense and get out there and get the job done. Get over the bloody fence, you muff. There you go. Jeez, it's not that high. It was only taller than your head, but you're apparently an athletic superstar and can jump that high. Oh, all right, doggos. Well, I'm not going to go through it the first time. I'm not going to worry about that so much. What I am going to do, though, is frame up the side up to the uh, up to the loot area and grab what I can. There's no point wasting loot if I've got the chance. Let's make myself a chest and just bang it out the front here. Store all the stuff we don't need and then do it all over again. I've gone up the sneaky way just up the side here because there's, what, there's vultures there? I don't see any dogs, though. This is normally where the dogs spawn. Oh, there's some dogs over there. Okay, that's all right, though. Ah, oh, damn it. Missed him. Come back here, you stupid feathery fuck. Ah, how did you survive that? I power shot at you, stupid, you stupid little bill. Oh, I get so distracted by vultures. I hate them so much. They hurt me all the time. So what have we got? We've got one doggo, it looks like. Maybe a couple more. Let's just get up a little bit higher and see what else we got. Just, just the one pupperino? If it's just the one pup, that's actually not that bad for me. Oi, Nackers, come here. Can I, can I reach you? Ready? Get on the hop. Okay, never mind then. You go... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, not the smartest dogger in the world, eh? All right, I'll see you later. He is gone. His people need him. That leaves me free with a bunch of good loot. That works for me. Thank you, doggo, for leaving me alone with all this goodness. Oh. Oh, I want to scrap it so bad, but it's worth so much money. Okay, I'll scrap you and helmet. Oh, skull Skullcap mod? What do you give me? Cold? Uh, no, no, no. I've already got the cowboy mod on. I don't need that one. I can scrap you. And what are you? 13 as opposed to 10. Oh, but I could put some plates in you. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... No, 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 no. Okay, I'll sell those. I'll keep the steel. I feel like it's a better option for me. It's not worth risking it like that. Oh, seriously? There's nothing in these body shareway boxes ever. I've got a couple of bits of food, but not much. Did I raid you yet? No, I didn't. Let's not forget the weapons bag. Another AK that I can scrap for parts and some bullets. Okay, well... Not uh, not the glorious day that I was kind of hoping for out of this, but definitely not the worst day either. Let's grab all the you back so don't lose you when I reset the POI. All right, back down we go. Would that dog go anywhere? Is he around? Doesn't really look like it. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's go all the way back down, reset the POI, then do it all again. What's? Oh, it's a clear. Wait, is, it, is this a clear? I don't, I don't know. It's a fetch and clear. I've got to clear it. 
Oh, I don't want to, though. I hate it. All right, nothing else for it. Just got to nut up or shut up. We've got to go in and we've got to get the job done. We have to get our motorcycle. That's my only priority right now. Please give me some knowledge. It's going to help me. You gave me 18 pieces of paper. That's absolute dicks. Now, I could just go up there. Look, the loop's just up there. I know. I know it is, but I have to clear the joint. If this wasn't a clear I'd retrieve, it would be so much better. Retrieve would be so much easier than having to go through here and make sure every stupid canine fucker is dead. Hey, Chelsea, how you doing? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. No, you minded me, for God's sake, Chelsea. That's what you get. I wanted to come in and give me a nice, clean death. Instead, you now spat it against the wall. The game's just taking the old P155 now. I got the batter up volume 6, which means I can craft baseball bats, which would be lovely if I could use them. But I'll still read it because I could go make myself some baseball bats and then sell them for some slightly more dollar reduce than I might have got otherwise. Damn it. How do you keep seeing me? I'm super stealthy in the darkness of night and you're still somehow knowing I'm there. Oh, I hate it sometimes. I hate it so much. Some more painkillers. That's not bad. As long as I don't get punched in the face, so I shouldn't need them. Anything in there? There's nothing good in here anymore. Where's all the good stuff? Now they've got to fight all the dogs. I'm not looking forward to it. All right. Just got to get it over and done with then. Where are they going to come from? Let's actually make a bit of noise. You gonna you gonna come out and fight me? Oh oh shit! God, it still made me jump. I jumped hard so much I even moved the cursor. All right, knocked one out. Knocked the other one out. Finish you off, please. Are you dead? Okay, you're definitely dead now. Oh god, I hate dogs so much. Are there any others in here? I don't think so because they came out from pretty high up the kennels. Oh my god, I hate dogs. They make me jump so freaking hard. All right, we're good. We're good. Okay, thank God. I don't think there's any more dogs until I get to the roof again. I think I'm pretty okay for now. Break you. Wake everyone up. No, nope, no one in here. All right, just keep on pushing. Oh, uh, no, wait. I take it back. I remember there being dogs in here somewhere too. I've woken someone up. There's a crawler, which might actually delay the rest of them coming through. But doesn't seem to be any there. Hopefully, this is the kind of thing where, like, the actual quest of this POI is easier than the normal POI, which often sometimes happens. But it's a level two, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to play out. Oh, I woke someone up. That's okay, though. Any more loot to be gotten in here? Yes, there eh, is. Anything in here? Flashlights. God, flashlights are so useless. I'd understand flashlights if you could dual wield. If I could have like a pistol or something or a one-handed weapon in one hand and hold the flashlight like this in the other and be able to like line up my surroundings, that'd make a whole lot more sense than this nonsense. Because right now, a flashlight is completely redundant. There's the courier satchel. Make sure we don't forget that one. This is all completely redundant. Oh, okay. Okay, how how we're we looking on the on the dog front over here? Can I get a quick cheeky little peek over here, Can I please? Okay, no dogs there. That's good. Still some vultures though, but I mean, uh, one vulture isn't so bad. Don't. Oh yes. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Everyone, stay there. You're fine there. Don't even worry about it. Oh yes. No. Damn it! I needed to kill you. Come back. You're the actual one that has meat on you. You son of a bitch. Oh man, there he goes. He ran through the thorns and ran away. I feel like a hyena on top of Pride Rock watching my dinner disappear. You get off the spikes and come back up to the top. I mean, I don't know how you're going to back up here again, but damn you, Wolfie. Hopefully he'll stay out there for later because my tummy will not feed itself and wolf meat sounds like a pretty good time to me. Speaking of food, uh, chicken soup. I'll just take you and drink you. I can't bother carrying you around. Anything in the weapons bag? Come on, come on, come on. Shotgun. Dynamite and ammo. I reckon we're pretty close to getting our $4,000 for the day. Come on, what's in here? Anything in here? Junk tart worth dick all. Oh, improved fittings mod. It's actually worth a bit. Did, did you just die? No? You're breaking some. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you're gonna. Wait, can you get all the way back up here? Can wolves climb ladders? I don't know what happens in the world of Seven Days to Die logic, but if a wolf could climb a ladder, I might be in a little bit of trouble here. All right, so meat. Sure, I'll take you. It's actually pretty good food. The only thing here is, though, I need to... Oh, there he is. Oh, you made it all the way back up. That's kind of nice of you. Can I punch you in the ass? Yes, I can. And he's now dead. All right, cool. I was going to say the annoying thing here is that I have to kill that wolf to get the, the clear part of it done. But he came back to me and I punched him in his booty, his big tailed booty, and he died, which I kind of enjoy. Oh, drop down onto there. Are you can you be looted again? I don't think yes you can. What have you got for me? Please give something good. I didn't really get anything good out of that whole POI. Nothing good again. But I did finish the quest. Let's jump back in here. I'm over encumbered. And I'm gonna stay that way. Oh no, now I'm gonna have to choose between what I take with me. I hate doing this part. I just gotta leave some stuff behind. It's unfortunate, but it has to happen because I'm completely cooked. 
Oh, okay. Well, it's only 11 o'clock in the morning as well. So I achieved my goal of getting down here with relatively uh, a lot amount of time to do the POI. So it's back to that one. I have to hit that one as well. I have to hit both traders today to get all of my money. Uh, which way do we want to go? I want to go north. That's north. There we go. Go that way. I hate that I can't see myself on the map anymore. It's hard. Like, there's no... Damn it, that's wrong. But there's no like direction telling me which way I'm facing. I just got to kind of guesstimate it until I can know for sure. All right. Around we go. Back we go back home. Now, do I go to, like, the OG trader back north first, then come back down south to get the motorcycle? Or do I go to the south one first, hoping to God that uh, I can maybe buy the motorcycle now and I've got enough kind of gubbins on me to sell to make up for the 1200 bucks I'm not getting from going to the other trader? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out when we get there. But either way, hopefully by the end of today, I will have my motorcycle. Oh, I can, I can almost feel it. I'm so excited. Here we go. The bullshit bridge. Make it happen again. Oh, oh that almost kind of worked. I did a 180. I didn't really mean to, though. That's right. We made it up the gap, though. And around we go. See, this is the thing. The wasteland's just bad all the way around. Not even the bridges work in the wasteland. It's just bears, bullshit, and bridges. Why would you ever want to live here? Oh. Oh, where are you going to drop that, buddy? Where are you dropping that, old mate? Oh, you're dropping it right next to the tradey potato. Oh. Oh, that's kind of exciting. I can drop everything off. I can go get that drop. That is not too much to ask. I've been through there before. That's where I went the first time when I first spawned in. I went over the hills and far, far away. And no mother duck said quack, 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 quack. So I did not come home again that day. So we'll go that way and grab that grab that drop after the trader. I feel like that's my best option. It'll probably give me a lot of just useless gubbins, but it might give me something useful. And that temptation is always what lures me in. Here we go. Moment of truth. Please give me the goodness, buddy. What have you got for me? Okay, oh! fucker. You respect the shop Ooh, rules. Oh, steel nuts. Steel nuts are there. What have I got? Oh, I have to. Even though the hideously ugly a corkscrew is a horrible idea for a, for a set of brass knuckles. Oh, I have to. I really, really have to. I mean, look, I'm, I'm here for money, but I can't turn down the opportunity to get some steel knucks on me. <gasps> I'm, I'm completely full. I'm completely full. Uh, wood, go away. And what else? Just in case, what else can we throw away? What else we got in here? One duct tape. Throw that away. Okay. Take the steel knuckles. Complete. Oh. Oh my god, I can't believe I finally got steel knuckles. Okay, may I see your inventory? Let's sell your okay, first. First and foremost, though, do you have a repair kit? No, you don't. Where's the motorcycle? Why don't you have the motorcycle anymore, man? I thought you'd supposed. Oh, you re did you restock today? You restocked today? Fuck! Oh, that's so fucking heartbreaking. After all that work, I thought it was tomorrow. No, god damn it! I can. Uh, I need the 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 pocket that lets me make cargo pockets rather than regular pockets, which would be lovely, lovely. Nice little tip almost sneak damage at night. That's not helpful. Schematics. I'm I'm fucking so gutted by that. I was so ready for my motorcycle. It's been ripped away from me. I was so close. Whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. So we've got to sell all of the nonsense. Sell you and sell you. Get everything done. Uh, to worse than knife. Sell that and you and you and you. All this is getting sold. Don't sell that one. I need that. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset by that. I was. I felt like I was right there. I could taste the petrol fumes, and now it's gone. I'm just, I'm just upset. I'm just upset with myself. God damn. And just as an extra layer of fuck you, after all of that, I, I have enough money to buy it too. I did an 18 grand. I've got no, almost 20 grand on me. In fact, can I sell something for 20? Oh, I didn't sell those ones. Sell that. There we go. Look at that. $20,000 redos and nothing to buy. I'm gutted. I'm genuinely gutted about that. I was so close to it. I was right there. Oh, fuck. He's got another tier two fetch and clear to the north, which is handy because that's closer to where I live, but it's probably still over in the old town because it's not far enough away. Although northeast, that might be my old town, actually. Let's take that one. Where's oh, that's the wrong button? Where's that gonna be? All the way up here, I assume. No, not gonna tell me. This one. Where where are you? Show me. Show me on the map, you useless, useless piece of crap. For God's sake. Oh, I hate it when it does that. I can't find it on the map anywhere, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go off and get that drop and then head back north up to Trady Potato up there. And uh, hopefully he has a motorcycle. I'm going to let down my old matey here. Hopefully the next one isn't quite as much of a cock tease. Uh, I guess we just go up and over the mountain then. Doesn't look like a little bit of a pass here. Not sure the bike will make it. We'll give it a red hot crack. In fact, let's not even... Uh, uh, no, uh, for goodness sake. It's all rolling down the hill. Stop. Stop, bike. Stop. Ah, stop. 
While I'm here as well, let's grab all of this out of there. Let's get the Steel Nux, modify you, and bang them in instead. So same amount of mod slots, but now I'm doing... Oh, wait. Uh, let me, no, put them on your freaking hands, you knob jockey. There we go. Grab you. See, look at that. That is a bad idea. That's just going to get all sorts of zombie flesh stuck in your hands. If you get one open cut, that we should probably happen, seeing as you're punching so many Muppets, you're just asking to get infected by having this thing. But whatever. This is what they want to do. This is what we're going to do. What are you actually doing now? You're doing eight. 18 damage as opposed to the old 14 I was doing on the old Iron Knuckles. And look at that. There's a Muppet here asking, begging to be the first experimental patient of the Steel Nuts. Come on, buddy. Take a swing. There you go. And, oh, didn't go down. Not a great first impression of the Steel Knuckles. I feel like the old ones were a little bit better. Maybe I'm just used to them. I'm not sure. I feel like these ones feel lighter than the, the Iron Knuckles did. The other ones felt like they really packed a punch. These ones, not so much. All right, supply chest, what do you got for me? Please make it worth all the effort it took to get out to here. Oh, first aid schematic, that's actually not bad. Core milk can sod off, and cat food, that can sod off too. All right, the rest of you can come with me. Scrap the hood. No one coming for me. All right, good, good, good. Let's grab you and ride off into the distance. Man, I'm just, I'm just feeling really flat now, you know? Like, I feel like I just got punched in the solar plexus by getting so close to getting that motorcycle than having it ripped away at the last moment. I really thought I was right there. Uh, I've got to go, let's go up and around there, and that should get us out. Okay, that should be fine. I'm just, I'm just real disheartened, you know? I'm real sad now. All right, Trady Potato, you are my last hope. Please, for the love of God, have a motorcycle. I've got the money. All you need to do is just have what I need. Please and thank you. What Holy are you going to give me? Shit. Stun baton? Shock, uh, shotgun shells are going to be worth the most. Ammo often is. Ooh, extra. 44 maximum schematic. Oh, abandoned armor plating mod. That's going to be helpful given that I have extra space in my armor. That's the least valuable one there. Because look at that. $1,500 reduced for flaming crossbow bolts ammo. Or a, or a steel shovel. Oh, I don't know. There's three things that I want. There's three things that I want. How am I supposed to decide? I feel like uh, I want the steel shovel because I replaced the steel shovel with a level 3 iron shovel, but then I can have a steel shovel back and I can also have the level 3 goodness. I can get $1,500 reduce or I can get better armor. Uh, huh. I don't know. I wish there was a way... Oh, and $2,000 reduce as well. God, I really got paid well out of this. I wish there was a way I could like back out of this and see what inventory he had so I know if I could buy one of these coming out of here. Uh, you're... I mean, I'll take the shovel, I suppose, because that's going to be most useful to me. Like, I can buy the banded armor plating mod later on for not as much money as a shovel. Uh, what have you got for me? Clear zombies, west, northwest. Okay, everything's kind of in town, which is nice. Let's go to the clear zombies in the middle of town. Oh, all right, now let's start selling some gubbins then. There you go. Sell that and sell the old nux. Thank you for your service after all this time, but I've got to move on with my life. It's just everything's a little bit better when I've got big blades sticking out of my fist. Sell you. And anything else to be sold in here? Not really. I think most of this stuff is already going to stay with me. All right, that's fine. All right, moment of truth. Motorcycle. Nothing there. SMG Motors. Oh, come on! Not a complete loss, though, because I can buy the Urban Combat book, which is take 5% less damage and deal 5% more when indoors, which I quite often am, so I'll buy you. I'll also buy uh, the Archery book because learn to craft steel arrows and bolts, which I can then sell to Trader Potato for a bit of coin. Truck Messiah, uh, Breach. Ooh, Breach Charges. That's kind of interesting. I'll buy that. Anything I can craft that might make me some more money, I'm kind of tempted to buy by you as well. Spending all my money on knowledge is not a bad thing. Uh, anything else in here that's going to be useful to me? Let's just quickly scroll through all of this nonsense. Landmines, all sorts of badness, but nothing that's really tickling my fancy. Oh, I'm still so sad. I'm just so sad. Oh, that tier two clear quest is the old fire station right next to home. Uh, I may, I may actually have enough time to do that today, actually. Seeing as I'm heading back there anyway, it's been a little while. I mean, it's been, what, 48 hours? Like, two nights since I spent the night in my actual base? It'll be nice to go home and feel secure once again. Because, what, two nights ago was the Horde night, which I stayed in a Horde base down south. Then I stayed in a random POI. Now I'm finally heading home again. So I might be able to quickly clear out that, uh, fire station right quick now. Or maybe I can do that tomorrow. There's a bit of housekeeping I need to do back home with all my extra inventory and stuff back there. Oh, man. I just... I'm, this today had such promise. I was so excited for today. 
But I got the days wrong and he uh, reset his inventory yesterday. Man, the comments going to be so mad at me. Everyone's going to be pointing that out to me, saying that, no, Josh, it's not going to happen. He reset yesterday. And I'm going to be a very sad boy when I read all of those. You know what? Fuck it. I was going to have a quiet night in, but why don't I just go and be brave for a change? Let's, uh, put, actually, let's just do this. Let's put all of you in there and let's take back, uh, where's all my food gone? I completely lost it. You and you. I can deal with the rest of you later on. As long as I have the bare minimums on me, that should be okay. Let's go do this tier two clear. I've got a couple of hours before night sets in. I know I can do it. I've done it before and I know that POI like the back of my hand. I lived in one for a little while there, so I can go and cook and knock that one out, get it it done and then take all my uh, rewards from that home with me and just enjoy my time being alive for another night Ooh, there's another level up. Bonza, mate. Got another level. And I have three skill points to spend, which means I can probably put that into another level of Brawler. What do I need here? Fortitude 7, which will be two there and one there. There we go. We're getting a little bit better. Just a little bit better every time is all I can really ask for. It's going to make me clearing this joint just that little bit easier. Close the door behind me so no one cruises up after me and surprises me with a fist up the bunghole. No, nothing there. Nothing there. I really like the filing cabinets as well. You often find books and filing cabinets which makes me a happy boy no one hiding in the kitchen either all right fair enough well i'll take all your loot then if you're here to protect it i will take everything i can find well that was pretty bloody satisfying wasn't it one shot kills to all of them just using power strikes the steel knuckles are starting to show what they're so good for nothing else around here really not no Alright, I know there's going to be a vulture on the other side of you, which I bloody hate. Check the barbecue for some steak. Charred meat. Well, I'll eat that anyway, because why not? We're gonna, a little bit of extra steak never hurt anyone. Eat that one as well. Oh, except I gave myself food poisoning. That was silly. That was... Oh, no, my stamina's fucked. That was real silly. Why did I think eating rotten meat out of a barbecue would be a good idea? Damn it, me! Alright, I need to fix that. How, how it does fix. Starving. Starvation will kill you eventually. That's great. Uh, can I just eat regular stuff and that will make me feel better? I guess? I don't know. Did I just like, did I just shit myself all over the ground and that's all that's happened to me? Or can I not get my food count up anymore because I'm starving to death? Nope, there we go. Okay, we're, do we're doing okay. <laughs> that's so weird. I ate steak, I got sick, and the solution to that is to eat more steak. Still nothing really up here to be worried about so much. Everything seems pretty uh, tame considering what these POIs can sometimes throw at me. Although my stamina is still completely balked. Let's quickly eat you. I'm also pretty thirsty. Drink some yucca juice because that's always the cure for all of my ales. Good drink of froth, but this hardly seems the time. If I've got nothing in my insides to soak up the alcohol, I'll get real drunk off just one frothy. And that is not a good time for anyone. If you get drunk with that drunk off pre-drinks, no one's going to want to go out with you. There we go, they're all dead. Make the last little dash through here. Got, what, uh, an hour and a half to finish off this POI? Not too much to ask. Should be able to get it done. Some more chest armor. Anything in here? No, bloody flashlights. They're everywhere and they're so useless. I'm burning through all of my meats just to try and keep myself satiated. There we go, get rid of you. Come on, I need the stamina to fight. That was a real bad thing for me to do. Losing my stamina like, at I think, a complete bar of stamina in the middle of a fist fight is no good for my survival chances. There we go, he's dead. Got some loot out of you though. Bottled water. I'll quickly just drink you. Please don't give me another layer of food poison because I drank some clean water. That would suck several camel dicks. Uh, no one else down here. We're looking pretty good. All right, not a lot of time left. Let's quickly get all the loot and get out of here. Last chest. We've got level four AK worth a bit. Oh, a helmet light mod. Oh, another triple storage pocket mod. That's real, real good. Okay, uh, what have we got in here? Where can I put you? You've already got one. You don't have one. Here we go. Strap some pockets onto me boots. There we go. All right, now we can carry some more stuff. Good, 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 good. Now, I don't remember if I'd paid the piper for my helmet light mod or not. I think I did way back when. Uh, it's only worth 48 anyway. So, you know what? Just to make doubly sure, I will scrap that helmet light mod as well. I don't want anyone to accuse me of cheating. I have, I think I've scrapped two now. So, I feel I feel like we're uh, we're back to level pegging. All right, now I just need to get out of here. The night's almost closing in. Time for me to leave. Right, first and foremost, given that I just completely cooked myself, I need to get as much food in me as possible. I'll take you. You can go in there, and you can go in there. I need to go through all of this inventory stuff. I need my sorting map. I need someone to come in and just do my inventory sorting for me. They can just live in the house. I'll protect them from the zombies, but they need to come in and sort all my inventory so I can find what I need when I need it. I don't feel like that's too much to ask, but I'll go through... Oh, my bacon and eggs. I can make bacon and eggs. I just have no freaking eggs. That's always so bloody frustrating, but I'm pretty 
pretty impressed that I survived that actually. I shouldn't have eaten that steak, that was a bad idea. But I got through it, I survived, and I also got all the money that I needed, if only to be disappointed by not being able to buy that motorcycle in the end. But now at least I have all that money for down the track, should I need it when another motorcycle becomes available. It's $18,000, and there is $18,000. But I'll have to go and buy that motorcycle if I find it, and clear some more quests, and do all the things you do to survive the apocalypse in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.